What's up, Internet? Jonathan here with TLD. I just want to give you guys a quick rundown, breakdown, and first look at the newly announced 2011 MacBook Pros. Happy birthday to Steve Jobs, by the way. And I also want to give you guys some buying advice. I've already got tons of messages, emails, and tweets asking me which model do I get, so I'll try to help you guys out with that in a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and break them down, starting with the two 13-inch models. At $1199, you get a 2.3 GHz dual-core i5 processor, 4 gigs of memory, a 320 gig 5400 RPM hard drive, Intel HD 3000 graphics, and a built-in 7-hour battery life. Now for 300 bucks more, that'll jump you up to a 2.7 GHz Core i7 processor. You get the same 4 gigs of memory. You jump up slightly from a 320 gig hard drive to 500. You get the same Intel HD 3000 graphics and the same 7 hour battery life. Moving along to the 15 inch models for $1799, that'll score you a 2.0 gigahertz quad core uh, CPU. That's Core i7. So we finally get four physical cores on the MacBook Pro. Super excited for that. Alongside with that, you get 4 gigs of memory, a 500 gig hard drive. You get the same Intel HD 3000 graphics as the 13 inch models, but you get a dedicated AMD HD 6490 with 256 megs of GDDR5 memory, love saying that word, and a 7-hour battery life. The next model up for 400 bucks more, you get a 2.2 GHz quad-core CPU. Uh, the main difference between those two CPUs is the uh, 2.0 GHz quad-core. That turbo boosts all the way up to 2.9, whereas the 2.2 will turbo boost up to 3.3 uh, in single-core applications. You get the same 4 gigs of memory. You jump up to a 750 gig hard drive on this 15-inch model. And the biggest thing probably would be the graphics card. Instead of the 6490, you go up to a 6750M, uh, which is one full gig of video memory. So if you're doing 3D motion, rendering, After Effects, that will help you out big time as far as that goes in the 15-inch models. Last but not least is the 17-inch model. This will run you $24.99. Essentially, it's the same specs as the high-end 15-inch model with a slightly bigger screen. Uh, you get the resolution of 1920 by 1200, so that's full HD if you're going to be editing videos. And if you're not sure what to pick up between the high-end 15-inch or the 17-inch model, it really depends what you're going to be using it for. If you want something on the go where you're going to be traveling, go for the 15-inch model because it's more portable. You can always hook it up to an external display like a cinema display or even go buy a 24-inch monitor for two or 300 bucks and use that at home with a wireless keyboard and mouse. Now, if it's going to be your main computer, you have no intentions of like, buying an external display or using it with anything else, then I would opt for the 17-inch model because you're going to get extra real estate on the screen. Uh, and if you're going to be editing HD video, that 1920 by 1200 will help out not only with that, but with Photoshop, After Effects. Just to have more screen real estate, that would help out personally in my opinion. Let's go ahead and go backwards to the 15-inch models. If you're not sure which one do you get, do you get the 2.0 or the 2.2? Uh, personally, I would opt for the 2.2 because you get a faster processor and you also get a much better video card. You jump up from 256 megs all the way up to 1 gig. Uh, like I said, if you're going to be doing 3D After Effects or motion or anything like that, that's where it's going to help you out. So 15-inch models, go with the 2.2. Going back to the 13-inch models, if you're not sure between those models, uh, between the 2.3 or the 2.7, I would personally stick with the baseline uh, 1199 model. You're not going to really notice too much difference going from the Core i5 to the i7. You get the same integrated graphics anyways. Maybe if you had a better graphics option on the 2.7, then I would opt for it. But if you're going to be looking for more power, uh, save that money. Like I said, put it towards an SSD or memory or even jump up to the 15-inch, which is actually going to give you a quad-core CPU uh, over the physical two cores on the 13-inch model. So to sum it up, if you're getting a 13-inch, get the 2.3 Core i5. If you're getting a 15-inch, uh, get the 2.2 gigahertz. That's uh, $21.99. And lastly, if you're not sure between a 15 or 17 inch model, uh, it really, like I said, like comes down to if you're going to be portable, uh, the 15 inch you can hook it up to a monitor, or the 17 inch I would go with if that's going to be your main computer and you have no intentions uh, of hooking it up to anything. So hope this helped. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are picking one up. If you already ordered one, I want to know what configuration you got. I will try to get my hands on a couple of these to review them, compare them for you, get some actual benchmarks. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to go try to run to the Apple Store right now. Make sure to check out our two latest videos, and I will catch you guys later.